Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Monday, January 22nd, 2024. And it's been a while since I've done, uh, led the live stream on a Monday. In fact, I was kind of going back and looking at Monday's not my favorite day to trade Mighty 90s and Runners. Um, so I was kind of like trying to refresh my memory on when uh, last time I traded on a Monday and led the live stream and uh, goes all the way back to uh, November 27th, actually, was the last time I traded on a Monday where I led the live stream. So, and I also was kind of going back and checking my results on Mondays and not the greatest. So I'll probably be a little conservative today, just being a Monday. I never know what the market's going to do after a weekend. So <clears throat> right now, the indices have continued to push up after – a uh, really strong day Monday, or I'm sorry, Friday, where it just grinded up all day. So S&P hit all-time highs Friday, and currently up a third of a percent. NASDAQ, it was really strong Friday. It's up another half percent. So VIX, interestingly enough, is it's up just a little bit. But has been coming down in the over the last couple hours, so just slowly kind of falling. We'll have to see what today brings. So I'll try to get a couple of these trades in and call it a day on a Monday. There is the bell. Also, we got to be cognizant of earnings. So that's all going to be starting up this week here. Next couple weeks will be heavy with earnings. First week of February, last week of January. Tesla has earnings on Wednesday. February 1st is a big day for tech earnings. Netflix has earnings on Thursday. No, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Netflix is tomorrow. A lot of stocks pushing up here. NVIDIA cracked 600. 
It's up to 601. Pretty much all futures pushing up. Meta up one and a half percent, Square up a little under four percent, Roblox up three and a half, Airbnb up two percent, DKNG up two percent, Baidu weak again. Baidu and Baba, man, those, those stocks have been punished in the last six months. Make sure you got a good idea on your position sizing today. This strength will be kind of interesting if we get um, the upside volume runners here. Wow, the future is really pushing up. So building on the strength from last week. Our second bar here now. Microsoft, Amazon, all kind of flipped there, Roku. For the close of that first bar. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Figure there's got to be a pullback at some point. What always amazes me is, you know, you you, you can go a week or so with uh, consistent down movement, but it's how quickly the market regains the losses. In January started out real rocky, man, but it didn't take long to get everything back.
right blockchain got a big volume bar here if you're wanting a smaller stock for an upside volume runner snapchat growing another smaller stock Win pushing down potential downside volume runner Piton get some volume so some smaller stocks maybe providing some opportunity for some of you So nothing really catching my eye on stocks, you know, that are that I would trade. Again, right, it's got a big bar here. Wind looks like it's gonna get a big volume bar to the downside. A lot of times win has wide strikes, bid ask, wide bid ask, yeah, really, really wide, so I won't be trading win. So nothing shaken other than those ones I already mentioned. Some of you that like smaller stocks, trade some of those. AMD coming down. And AMD and NVIDIA have been so strong. I figure there's got to be some people booking profits and selling shares. VIX coming up. Yeah, morning, Ken. Yeah, so I think the antibiotics took my last one today, took 10 days worth of antibiotics and so knocked out whatever i i was dealing with in the head cold man it's yeah nice to not have to struggle to talk it's your voice is one thing you really take for granted So, oh yeah, definitely take health for granted.
Dow up 178, NASDAQ up 77, S&P up 22. I thought we might see a little pullback today just because of that big push up on Friday. But hard to have a bias when you there's strength pre market and you know, so just playing things careful on a Monday. Yeah, there's the Piton I mentioned that and then Riot. Um, those big volume, big volume bars, but yeah, I was kind of surprised I hadn't trade, I hadn't uh, traded, you know, mighty ninety and runners since November twenty seventh on a Monday, and I think I did it. I think I did two Mondays in November and a couple Mondays in October. So it was like. Really, since October, only like four different days on, you know, four different Mondays trading these strategies. So, <clears throat> Dow trying to stay strong. NASDAQ has pulled back. Part of your mindset is just not rushing into things. Sometimes, you, you know, it's natural to be like, oh, man, I got to be getting in a trade. You know, it's letting time go by and not getting in anything. I got to get in something. You know, sometimes when you rush and you force, that's what some problems arise. So don't ever, don't ever let yourself feel guilty or feel bad about not getting in something, you know, to start today. We'll be looking for some mighty 90s here. Bar bigger than the previous with clear volume separation and going in the same direction. Roblox kind of looks like it wants to stay strong here. Yeah, VIX is uh, up a little over 2%. Hasn't... Uh, it's not moving a lot, but it's it's moving up. Boeing's had a rough go the last couple of weeks trying to bounce back. Yeah, Roblox, I thought it was going to push up there. But just seeing a lot of stairs stepping down, you know, you take a look at Netflix, Amazon, Meta, just boom, 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 stair step down. Costco, that's a stock too that's just been ripping up over the last couple months. Earnings season is going to be interesting because, um, you know, you had the holidays in there and um, 
a lot of stocks are getting up to all time highs. And so, you know, it'll be interesting to see if earnings continue to drive stock prices up or, or not. Still nothing going on. Yeah, Piton still trying to, still pushing up as well. All green in Piton. Yeah, it looks like Target's got a little mighty 90 there, for sure. But I don't know that I'm going to get in the way of it right now. Yeah, I saw Uber, kind of the same thing. A little mighty 90 long right there. But I'm going to hold off on those. Piton, another big bar. S&P futures coming up right to where it's been rejected. Let's see if it gets rejected again or not. Russell, Russell through pre-market highs. So, yeah, Netflix, potential mighty 90 here. How much time we got left? About 30 seconds. So, if it comes back down, it wouldn't be a bad... Mighty 90 there. We'll use the four DTE, four days to expiration option chain. Wow, those are expensive. Holy moly. Since when did Netflix become so expensive? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So I'm going to pass on Netflix. But I mean, yeah, that's that's definite. What would be nice is if it would push down one more time, get down at the bottom, get in down at the bottom of the next candle, and then have it come up. But I don't know if it'll do that or not. Roblox kind of had a mighty 90 short. Check that in. Toss. It's a 5%, though, so... Yeah, it's definitely mighty 90. That bar's a few ticks away from being. I'll go ahead and get short Roblox here. Oh, man. Roblox has really gotten cheap. At the money puts 83 cents. So I'm going to pass on that one. So S&P did push through highs of day. Yeah, Boeing's already pulled back. Morning, Cosmo. Yeah, Tesla just stair-stepping down in volume. I think this is kind of reminding me why, why I'm not usually... Live on Mondays. Zoom, little mighty 90 short. Uh, I passed on it, Deox, because of the 
puts for an 89 cents. But, but keep in mind, like, you don't, I mean, anybody that's in the live stream, like, you don't have to pass on it. I passed on it because the puts were 89 cents. I mean, I'm just, I just don't trade under a dollar. This is too cheap for me anyway. But like I said, just because I'm passing doesn't mean you have to. Also, also Roblox is up five and a half percent. Do I want to get a short something that's ripping to the upside right now? Let's see. Zoom. Not too bad. Let's see it. Got a mighty 90 here in Zoom. I'm going to jump on the 71 puts. Those are the buck 50. Still pushing up, so you could definitely get a better. Bill than I got. Snap with a mighty 90. Of course, the bar is getting pretty big. Nice, Krish. Roku with a potential mighty 90 short. Roku, I would trade the 90 puts. Build at 249 in, in Roku. So I would close half my Roku at 275. Roku pushing up to that pivot. So maybe I should have waited one more. I'm going to add to my Roku. Go to 226 to add. It's coming right up to a pivot there. So now I would I would close half at two fifty. Zoom still going up. So Zoom, I'm going to add to my Zoom at buck thirty-five. 
Those are the buck thirty six. So both of these are mighty 90s. Look for two consecutive red bars. And I would get out of half my zoom at a buck 50. You see a little weakness here. Tesla, actually, Tesla's got a mighty 90 short as well. Um, and it's pushed up a second time. Man, I, I would get in that if I wasn't in two already. Yeah, Tesla, what I like about it is, is it's pushed up twice now. It's given a mighty 90, then it pushed up again. Uh, filled in Roku at 250 to close half. I'll pull back and zoom. So we close another Roku at two seventy five. It's nice to I've I've gotten out of half and haven't even gotten a red bar yet. Yeah, Roku, I don't know, man. It looks like it wants to get through that pivot. Zoom doing. Zoom is still zoom a zooming. Meta coming down.
Not really like that. Tesla short, though. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's you may want to just push. But I'm going to jump on these Tesla puts. 215 strike. Uh, let's see if I can get filled with six bucks. I moved it to six oh five. Six ten, final offer. Build at six ten. That was a two fifteen puts. Looks like I would have got filled at six. <laughs> you just never know. So I'll close half at 670. Put that in, in case it comes down. Build it a buck fifty to close half my zoom. That a boy zoom. So I got one red bar out of Tesla, barely. Nvidia coming down the lows of day. Meta coming down through lows of day. Amazon coming down to lows of day. Zoom trying to come back up. like to get my two bars out of Tesla and get out in case it's a day that it wants to rip. Yeah, things looking like they want to get strong again. I just hope Roku doesn't get through that pivot. S&P is kind of kind of starting to chop a little bit. Yeah, you know, Tesla pushing up to highs of day. It's not what I wanted to see. So I'd like to see it get forced back down. It may be a rip day for Tesla. I may have gotten in in the way of the wrong stock. It's been beat up a little bit lately. Chart of 
Tesla. Yeah, see, it's been it's been it's been a rough go. Not quite sure what this market wants to do, though. S and P's kind of just sitting where it opened, really. It's kind of went up, down. Zoom going to try to give two bars? Maybe? I don't know. And you can kind of see where futures is just kind of, it's kind of in chop mode, really. So might be getting a second red bar out of Tesla here. And Zoom. So I will look to close those. I just don't think I want to get in Tesla's way. It could be setting up for a it could be setting up for an upside continuation runner. So I'm going to close my Tesla. A little bit 635 to close Tesla, so not much of a winner, but I'll I'll take it. And my zoom. Build it a buck fifty-three. Close zoom. Got me two red bars. Ooh, Roku. Let's see. So I'm going gonna, gonna to hold Roku for two red bars, though. Apple kind of looking like it wants to continue higher push up. It's kind of consolidating, hasn't really pulled back much. Tesla is actually kind of setting up like an upside continuation to the upside um, push up, little three bar pullback. So, a good add to Zoom up there. Yeah, if Roku goes through here. I may I may just close it without getting two red bars just to lower my risk. So 
Sometimes on a strong day, you just don't want to get in the way of stuff. So the question is whether Roku, you know, can get through that pivot or not. Close my Roku. Build at 224. So didn't really follow the rules there. A couple reasons why. Um, strong market. It's a Monday. Roku has appeared to be strong. Um, What else? Apple, you know, like I said, it kind of looks like it wants to push through highs. And Roku, may it may, it, it may not make it through that pivot. I just wanted to reduce my risk there. Again, a little cautious being a Monday. But as of right now, it hasn't made it through that pivot quite yet. Tesla, even though I got out, you know, it's still coming down, but it could, I could see it coming down this pivot and then ripping. See it, see it square, a little three bar pullback bounce. Uh, Roku kind of made it through there, didn't it? Well, folks, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to get anything else here. 915 Central. I mean, kind of looks like another green day for the markets, but. If you wanted to keep, keep trading, you know, if Tesla comes down to this pivot. You know, you could get long and then if it pushes through the pivot, you could just bail. You know, it'll be a small loss. Ah, uh, can I haven't even looked at it yet, to be honest with you, because I've been doing this. So, I mean, looking at futures, it looks like it, things have pretty much just chopped from the open. So, probably, probably an entry any time would be good. So, but this one we'll look at now. So, I'll have to take a look at premiums and all that. But, um. The other thing would be maybe to see if it pushes through this consolidation. Yeah, see, Roku broke the it did. Yeah, so that's just me being a little cautious on that one today. And it could still it could still give two bars and come back down below, but it just looked like it was on a mission there. So I was reducing risk. So all right, uh, I will be back live. I think you got Steve tomorrow, and then I'll see you all, I think, Wednesday. Have a good one. Peace.